The European Union must be ready to enlarge by 2030. That's what the President of the EU Council said in Slovenia, where he outlined his vision for the bloc to reflect the profound geopolitical shift following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Finally, enlargement is no longer a dream. It's time to move forward. There is still a lot of work to do. It will be difficult. It will be complex, sometimes painful for the future member states and for the EU. But let's be clear. If we want to be credible, I believe, we must talk about timing. After Russia's illegal invasion in 2022, the EU gave Ukraine, Moldova and Bosnia-Herzegovina candidate status. Engagement was also stepped up with other Western Balkan countries, Montenegro, Serbia, North Macedonia and Albania, who also are official candidates, and Georgia's aspirations are also being taken seriously. The French president, Emmanuel Macron, on Monday said that the EU needs to reform itself first if it wants to integrate new nations and has to build consensus with more than 30 member countries, which is expected to be a difficult process. Experts also agree that the momentum is there, but the accession model has to change so that the functioning of the EU itself is preserved. The enlargement of the European Union, of course, risks um, bringing uh, at the table more veto-wielding member states and thus slowing down the, uh, the process of uh, seeking consensus on knotty issues. Um, so unless decision-making is not uh, reformed, qualified majority voting streamlined, uh, the problems of an enlarged union and its smooth functioning uh, risk only aggravating at that stage. And that will in particular be so if uh, indeed, uh, you know, issues of rule of law, respect for democracy are not well settled uh, in these new member states. Both Ukraine and Moldova were granted candidate status in June and several voices are calling for the EU to open accession talks by December.